Live from KTV in Reno, you're watching 2 News at 11. Wind conditions are in our favor, so uh, that's, that's some good news. Yeah, fire crews are hoping to take advantage of the favorable weather tonight to stop the spread of the Caldor fire. We'll get a closer look at the effort to save more homes. From 2 News, this is breaking news. But first, breaking into our newsroom tonight, firefighters are battling a home fire in Fernley. This is a photo sent into our newsroom of the fire, which the viewer says broke out on C Street. We do have a crew on the way to the scene now. We don't know yet if anyone has been injured in the fire, or the circumstances surrounding it, or what caused it. But of course, we will bring that information to you as soon as we get it on, on air, online, and on our 2 News app. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ariana Bennett. I'm Ryan Canada. Thanks for being with us. Moving on to our other big story of the night. Tonight, fire crews are taking preventative measures this evening in an attempt to stop the spread of the Caldor fire. So this fire has burned nearly 211,000 acres and containment has grown to 27 percent. More than 4,400 people are fighting this fire. Cal Fire is saying several evacuation orders have been lifted and others are downgraded to warnings now. So some good news. Jefferson Tyler joins us now live along Highway 89 where steps are being taken to keep this fire at bay. Jefferson, what's the latest there? Well, some more good news when it comes to Highway 50. Uh, apparently that area is pretty much under control. That's according to the incident commander for that area. Now, when it comes to Kirkwood and 88, those continue to be problem areas. The east side of the fire continues to be a troubling area. Now, um, when it comes to over here on 89, the firefighters are determined to make sure that the flames do not make their way to the Christmas Valley home, the homes in Christmas Valley. Firefighters are deploying specific strategies tonight to keep the Caldor fire from growing. We'll continue to reinforce that with aircraft. Again, our number one priority is life threat and any kind of impact of property. So that is where we're prioritizing our resources. Truck spray retardant on the landscape around homes on 89 leading into Christmas Valley. Leroy Valdez is one of the many firefighters concentrating on control burns. The burns are designed to burn away fuels like dried out brush and trees before the Calder fire can use them to spread. Now we're trying to merge the uh, this fire to the head of the fire right now. So right now we're trying to cool down the fire so it uh, doesn't spot over the other line back here. Spotting is when the wind carries embers to other locations where they can ignite dry brush, creating other fires. Right now, the winds being low, it's an ideal time to do these sorts of operations. Currently, we're still seeing the probability of ignition up to 90%, and we're seeing those spot fires uh, that are in today's uh, activity go less than a half a mile. So that's, a, that's really good for the resources out there. Firefighters need to closely monitor and manage these control burns this evening so that the flames don't get out of control and cause further problems. If there is one stick um, out there in the rocks, it, it will catch on fire right now. So that's why we're kind of letting the fuels burn right now. And then we spray a little water just to contain it so we don't, we don't want it to get in the trees. So then that causes spotting. Now with all the dry fuels out there, they aren't out of the woods quite yet when it comes to the Caldor fire's growth. However, with this break in the high winds, they plan on making as much progress as they can in slowing down or possibly stopping the Caldor fire. Covering Firewatch, Jefferson Tyler, 2 News. Yeah, fingers crossed for tonight, Jefferson. Thank you. Well, the fire is also impacting local wildlife, forcing animals to look for a way out, just like so many evacuees. Now, some are ending up in neighborhoods or on the side of the road, and Enda wants to remind everyone that feeding them or petting them, definitely things you should not do between our lawns, garbage, even if you think of a golf course, there's tons of water sources there, there's green grass. So our neighborhoods provide all this food for wildlife. So that's why it's not surprising if they stop in our neighborhoods on the way to these new habitats. Yeah, and now says bringing your pets inside could help prevent any conflict with wildlife. Now this is some video from Lake Tahoe Wildlife Care. They say as soon as they're able to reopen their center, they will help animals impacted by the Caldor fire. 41 animals were evacuated from their center earlier this week and placed in different centers across California. For firefighters, it's another sad aspect of wildfires. 
we definitely have seen in the past, bears and deer, all those getting burnt, and um, we never want to see that. So um, it's definitely a problematic thing for wildlife, and hopefully they've pushed their way out and gotten into somewhere safe. And Dow says people in Douglas County could be seeing a lot of those animals along the roadways trying to escape. So if you're driving, be sure to slow down and follow any wildlife signs.